Today I have another very special story for you from the first time I ever videoed a flight and also my last day of flight training. And that's the story of my one and only near miss. There's only two cameras and the audio is terrible because I hadn't built my own circuit yet. But the purpose of this video is to help pilots of all experience levels understand the dangers of near misses. So you might want to even watch the video twice. Once watching my reactions and once watching this graphic in the corner to help understand the situation in real time. I hope you guys can learn something from this video and not end up in the same kind of situation yourselves. Thank you, 996. I'll take a look for him. Still being a student pilot, I don't know what a Navion looks like. George isn't exactly sure where he is, and the sun is setting to the west over the airfield. All in all, a great combination. Hi there. That is not him. Just somebody passing through. Another airplane passing by at low altitude just adds to the confusion, along with a relatively busy night on 122.8 in New England. And Southbridge traffic sky, 53996 on the go, upwind 20, Southbridge staying in the pattern. You'll note that I'm using the best FAA recommended practices for entering a traffic pattern. First, a leg perpendicular to the 45, and then the 45, allowing me to look out both the right and the left sides of my aircraft for traffic but I still don't have the Navion in sight. And at this point, it's starting to worry me just a little bit. Traffic 1027 Fox Shots on the 45 for the left downwind, runway 20. I'll just keep my speed up for you, George. You should be fine. Okay, I'll keep an eye out for you. Then I'll see you, yes. Good sight. Fox Shots traffic, stage 36 kilo, left eight two four marsh hill, full stop. Here's where things start to get messy. Consider the visibility difference between a low wing and a high wing aircraft. Southbridge traffic warrior 8027 Fox Shots turning base from way 20 Southbridge. And yeah, Southbridge traffic, stock 53996 on the left downwind for 20 Southbridge. And Nick, looks like somebody's uh, right in front of you there. Do you see him right below you? Uh, I don't. Should I go around? Yeah, if, if you're at the higher altitude, uh, I would recommend. South, we're going to some fun. Going around. Yeah, do you see them on the final there? Not at all. Thank you so much. Yeah, they're uh, doing a low pass over the runway right now, looks like. Yeah, it looks like they're off, uh, coming up just over the town. See them. They're all on the radio. Just a little. I'm actually going to turn crosswind now. Uh, yeah, they're pretty much right in front of you, so I'm not sure if that's, that's a good idea. Note that unlike before, here I used my own judgment of the situation. And yeah, Southbridge traffic, stock 53996, turning left base for uh, 20 over the golf course, Southbridge. Finally have the now, but beating the numbers, turning downwind. Okay, roger that. Yeah, you guys are right on top of each other almost. Full approach, GPS 505. Radio not working? No, he's just not using comps, so. Good day. Yep. Hey, it's out for a traffic sky, 53996 over the golf course, turning final for 20 Southbridge. Hey, 
And two's up, Foxtrot, what's your position? It's turn pace. I don't have the traffic anymore, do you have? Uh, negative on the traffic, and uh, I'm on uh, about a one mile final right now. Yeah, I have you. Um, I still don't have him in sight, so I think I'm just going to get out of here again until I have him. Okay, you have me on final, right? I do. Yeah, Georgia, copy. Yeah, Peter, I got you. Okay, are we, uh, we're spotting that traffic. Okay, yeah, he was, uh, looks like he was hot on your tail, so I just wanted to uh, warn him, he didn't look like he saw you. You guys were both on final at the same time. Uh, we're over the interstate, so we're uh, two miles out. 2500. Yeah, 27 Fox, do you copy the position report for the Navy on? It was the uh, He just said he was over the interstate, I'm not sure what they're doing. Yeah, George, we're on the long final for uh, 2 0 Southbridge. No other traffic in sight. Okay, you do have a warrior out there. Uh, 2 7 Fox, what's your position? Roughly a little bit to the west side. I'm going to join crosswind after you pass over. Roger that. Looks like no factor. Uh, we got Pappy lights. Uh, we're high uh, one mile from here. And Southbridge traffic, Sky 53996 over the town, turning left, crosswind through 20, Southbridge. And Southbridge traffic, Sky 53996, turning left, downwind 20, Southbridge. Sky to drive a turkey 763, and 27 Fox, I uh, got you off my left wing there. Say again, Rick. Go to 12275. Roger that. Your traffic 0 to 7 Fox Drive turning crosswind runway 20 Southbridge. So, as many of you guys may have already been thinking or have done, I immediately looked up the definition of a near miss in the AIMS. It's defined as a proximity of less than 500 feet to other aircraft or a report received from pilot or flight member stating a collision hazard existed between two or more aircraft, which in this case was George on the radio. And in the last frame of video here, you'll see the aircraft on the ground, and no wonder I had such a hard time spotting it. A bare aluminum paint job in the setting sun. No kidding. So rather than make this a 20 minute video, let's do it in the comments section. Leave a comment below or on the Facebook page, and a like too if you enjoy this new style of video, and we'll have a discussion about what you think I could have done better or done worse in this particular event. Thanks guys, that's all for today, and we'll see you next time on the Friendly Skies channel.